जी स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यू रोड लर्निंग आउटकम ओके जी सो रिगार्डिंग द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन जनिंग लैब वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट रिगार्डिंग द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मटीरियल विच आर बींग यूज इन रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन सो नॉर्मली इट फॉल्स इन टू टू कैटेगरीज वी आर हैविंग द एग्रीगेट्स so aggregate sources of aggregates you know sargoda margla dina crush normally they are being used in road construction sargoda crush margla crush dina crush ya yeah, punjab mein agar uh, dusri taraf chale jaye sindh wagaira mein so they are having different other deposits from where they are getting the stones so what's happening here how we are getting the aggregates uh, by control blasting of the mountains what we are having we are having the big pieces of stones and afterwards through the crushers we are going to crush them and we are having uh, aggregates of sizes various sizes which are being used in road construction so second one that is the bitumen or asphalt so bitumen or asphalt that is used as the binder like in once you are using cement as the binder same is the case for bitumen and asphalt Uh, you are using the binder in case of the road construction so uh, regarding the clos to recognize the equipment used to perform various tests related to aggregates and bitumen you would be able to recognize if i say may the shape of the aggregate so based on that what you can do you say okay i am going to carry out the flakiness index test elongation index test abhi baat karte hain ki what they are uh, and you may go for the angularity number test and you say ke okay, together shape of the aggregate that can be measured using this test or i i say go for the penetration test on the bitumen there is one test to find out the grade of bitumen yeah i say determine the grade of the bitumen so abruptly it must come to your mind ke okay i am going to carry out the penetration test or this is the operators for the penetration test so first clo is to recognize the Uh, equipment used to perform various tests related to aggregates and bitumen second one is to practice laboratory experiments related to aggregates and bitumen so you would be able to carry out experiments by yourself now important thing is that okay in this lab you have to uh, take precautionary measures you are working with aggregates so you must be wearing the closed toe shoe lab coat it should be with you face mask it should be with you then you are using the gloves because if hot bitumen or asphalt or if by any chance or by any mistake if some aggregate it falls on your feet or on any part of your body it might be the case it is going to hurt you so there are examples in the past where students they are not uh, carrying out the precautionary measures and ultimately they have uh, they have to face some sort of injury And then there is one mixed design also to execute the mixed design for bituminous concrete to be used in road construction yes yeah, for concrete so concrete mein you are using the cement as for concrete yes yeah, for bitumen mein you are using bitumen as a binder then to demonstrate material characterization and existing laboratory equipments for the characterization of the aggregates and as for concrete like i say okay these are the aggregates please tell me either it is fit for Uh, construction or it is fit to be used in road construction or not so what you are going to do you are going to carry out the various tests ye question yaad kar lijiyega iske bare mein and the end jab main dafa liya uski brief kar lunga sare experiments ko then we would be uh, talking ki kaise characterization karenge aggregate ki ya uh, uski asphalt concrete ki so these are the various clos three belongs to your cycle motor and one belongs to Uh, cognitive domain so assessment for the transportation lab uh, rubric for the transportation lab so lab manual is available uh, when you are coming on campus ya yeah, next class mein main aapke sath if we are online to wo aapke sath mein share kar dunga short file uski so we are working on this lab manual now for this lab manual for every, every experiment we are going to take you have to give one by one maybe you ho sakta hai ki uh, after two experiments or after three experiments we are going to take one by one so five marks for that by one then observation and calculations tables are available in the manual 
but i would like you are going to make those tables on separate a4 pages and afterwards you are going to place it in your manuals so for observation and calculations you are going to reproduce those tables and you are going to uh, fill them by pencil so that is your task then report presentation how you are going to present the report maybe some are going to present very uh, in a very uh, uh, good manner some in a very ugly manner that their jo ye apne pages vagaira lagana they are coming out of the manual or they are not properly pasted so you have to take into consideration two marks for this report presentation and one marks for the comments comments regarding the experiments so these uh, this one is the assessment rubric for in all we are having uh, 11 experiments 11 or 12 experiments plus one mixed design so you are going to when you are coming to the lab so you are going to perform the experiments and afterwards each experiment that is being graded based on this rubric now regarding the list of the experiments five, six experiments they are regarding the uh, aggregates and six experiments they are regarding the uh, what you can say the bitumen so list of the experiments uh determination of flakiness index just i would uh, share with you the list and afterwards i would explain a little bit of them determination of flakiness index and elongation index of the given aggregate sample so flakiness or elongation index these two they are the new names to you flaky particles flakiness index is based on the presence of the flaky particles now what are the flaky particles those particles whose thickness is very less as compared to the other dimensions ye agar main uski definition ki baat karu to flaky particles are those particles whose least dimension thickness is less than 0.6 times the mean size of the aggregate aage baat karenge ki kaise mean size karenge ya kaise aap flakiness index find out karenge so determination of the flakiness index or second one uh, elongation index as the name indicates it is concerned with the length so elongation index is it deals with the length any particle whose length is 1.8 times greater than the mean size of the particles ya yeah, mean size other two dimensions that is the elongated particles or usi ki base pe what you are going to do you are going to go for the elongation index now for these two flakiness index and elongation index you are going to use these two gauges this one thickness gauge or flakiness index gauge and this one that is the elongation gauge now there are having various slot openings so each slot opening is related to specific size ye jo hai 2.5 inch se jo pass kar raha hai 2 inch per retain kar raha hai ye size uske liye isme se along the thickness side aapne particle ko pass karna hai isme se इसमें से जो टू इंच से पास कर रहा है 1.5 इंच पे रिटेन कर रहा है यू आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस फॉर दिस साइज
is this slide that is luckiness index gauge visible to you? GCR. Or anyone please respond. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, sorry, link break was gone due to internet. Uh, so we are talking about this thickness gauge. So this flackiness index experiment is we are going to find out the percentage of flaky particles in any sample, and that is referred to as the flackiness index. So it deals with the shape of the aggregate. If you ask that the shape test perform, so you abruptly you must ask uh, or apply flackiness index, elongation index plus uh, angularity number. So these uh, three tests it covers or it tells you about the shape of the aggregate. So the flaky particles they are regarded as the source of weakness. Just imagine in daily life also if one thing anything is too thin, so it is easy to break. Same is the case with aggregates. So normally aggregates flaky particles they are the source of weakness. Then comes the elongation index. So again look you are having gauge like this. These are the openings. You have to pass the sample through these gauges along the length direction. Is me along the thickness direction, is me along the length direction. So based on that, what you can do or what you can find out, you are going to find out uh, the percentage of elongated particles in any sample. Flaky particles or elongated particles in a sample, they are the source of weakness. So that is the first experiment. Then comes determination of angularity number of the uh, given aggregate sample. Angularity is absence of roundness. What is angularity? Angularity is absence of roundness and angularity number. Angularity number is basically uh, percentage volume of voids in an aggregate sample exceeding 33. That is the angularity number. Angularity is number is defined as percentage of volume of voids in an aggregate sample exceeding 33. Now, what is 33? 33 is basically percentage volume of voids in a perfectly rounded aggregate. So, if you lose packing, or without applying effort, if you pack aggregates, just Loose packing are so us major percentage of voids in uh, uh, in rounded particles that would be minimum or angular particles mean that would be more vice versa yeah the only test perform correct it was made that clear oh jayga other way around so angularity number is defined as percentage volume of voids in an aggregate sample after compacting in a prescribed manner exceeding 33 now what is the prescribed manner Uske liye you would be requiring this cylinder. Ye cylinder hai, isko you are going to fill it in three layers. Each layer being given. Uh, three layers mein fill karna hai. Or har layer ke upar, how many number of blows you are going to apply. Uh, you are going to apply two blows per second by lifting this rod approximately five centimeter above the surface of the aggregates and then allowing it to fall freely. So 100 blows on each layer at the rate of two blows per second or three layers may cylinder ko fill karna hai. So that is basically the loose packing. Ya rod se is ye jo rod hai. Is se aapne pack karna hai. And afterwards you are going to weigh, weight of the empty cylinder is with you. Weight of the cylinder plus aggregates that is it with you. Uski basis ke upar aap is angularity number define kar lenge. Normally roads may angular more is the angular number. 0 to 11 the kiski range of the angularity number key to more is the angular number it means particles are less rounded or 0 a perfectly rounded or 11 maximum value of sakti hai. that is the freshly cut aggregate angularity number for the freshly cut aggregate so these are the two uh, uh, what, what you can say the limits 0 for perfectly rounded or uh, jo 11 hai, that is for perfectly angular particles. Normally, road construction mein jo hum aggregates use karte hai, they must be having the angularity number ranging between 7 to 10. That is the angularity number. So, second experiment put together 
flakiness index, elongation index, and angularity number they are referred to as the shape test. Then comes the specific gravity and water absorption for aggregate. Specific gravity, in, uh, you have carried out specific gravity in the past, specific gravity of soils using the pictometer. In this case, mein, aggregates ke liye, what you would be requiring, you, uh, uh, you would be requiring a wire mesh packet. Okay, you are going to utilize the Archimedes principle, the so weight in air or weight loss in water ka concept use. Karte be, you are going to find out the uh, specific gravity. Now, I have about the wire mesh bucket. Ki. This one, that is the wire mesh bucket. This can aggregates place karke, isko pani mein weight karenge. So, what you would be having, you will be having the aggregate weight in water. Normally, aggregates ke liye three types of specific gravities they are being reported. One is bulk specific gravity second one is saturated surface dry now this is new term for you saturated surface dry what is saturated means saturated ka matlab kya hota hai anyone please respond all the voids filled with water okay ji all the voids they are being filled with water now i am saying saturated surface dry the surface of the aggregate is dry but all the voids they are filled with water. So, ye find out karne ke liye saturated surface dry weight find out karne ke liye what you can do. You are going to place the aggregate in water for 24 hours. 24 hours ke baad, you are going to take out the aggregates, dry the surface of the aggregate with the help piece of towel or with the piece of the cloth. So, what is that? That is saturated surface dry condition. Okay. Okay, sir. And third specific gravity, same aggregate, bulk specific gravity, saturated surface dry specific gravity, and third one that is the apparent specific gravity. Apparent specific gravity or jo bulk specific gravity, dono mein jo difference hai, that is if you are going to consider water impermeable voids, water permeable voids. Uh, you are going to take the total volume, including the volume of the water permeable voids. That is the bulk specific gravity. You are talking about the total uh, bulk sample. Or uh, net volume, if you use karenge, excluding the volume of the water permeable voids, so what is that? That is the apparent specific gravity. Ke aggregate, ke andar, agar koi aisa void hai, ke if you are going to soak the aggregate in water and it is going to absorb the water, so that is the water permeable voids. Jo or Ajabab is aggregate to over my racking it over funny evaporate Kadjega, your wo funny dry out to Jega. So that void that is referred to as the water permeable void. So this one, bulk specific gravity, along with that, you are going to determine the water absorption. Now, water absorption that is the source of weakness. Jo water absorption OTA that is the source of weakness. Normally, 4%. That is regarded as the upper limit for the aggregates. If water absorption is more than 4%, what you can do, you say or you can reject okay, okay, aggregate water absorption is too high because if water uh, aggregates they absorb water or they have affinity for water, then what happens? The egg phenomenon or the film stripping car. Okay, when you absorb the bitumen film ki coating hai around the aggregates. They are going to remove it and the uh, aggregates are being surrounded with water. So us cheez ko avoid karne ke liye we are using aggregates whose water absorption that is less. Normally, 4% uh, is the upper limit. So this one test, three specific gravities and one water absorption you are going to determine. So it uh, uh, these tests, they determine the physical characteristics of the aggregates, flakiness index shape, angularity number shape, specific gravity, indicator of the strength, indirect indicator of the strength, more is the specific gravity. So aggregates, they are hard. Water absorption, again, if they are having high water absorption, this means the aggregates, they are porous. So they are not good or they cannot be used for road construction. Then comes law sinus of rain test on aggregates. A brain, as the name indicates, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, that is the city in America from where this test was proposed at the start. So that is why the name Los Angeles. A brain is resistance to scratching. Now, 
when the aggregates are being used in road or in case of the rail road or in case of the runway so when load moves over the aggregate so the aggregate under the impact of the load tries to move over to try to move over one another due to this movement grinding of the aggregate or crushing of the aggregate it takes place so you determine karna hai ki los angeles abrine value kin aggregates ki kam hai aur kin aggregates ki that is more normally jitni uh, aaj tak ke liye you have to remember more is the loss and the sabrian value softer it would be the aggregates so is test ko perform karne ke liye what you are going to do you are going to use this machine ye hamare transportation lab mein when you visit so this type of machine that is available iska ye lid remove karke isme aap aggregates you are going to place maybe 5 kg maybe 10 kg aur uske andar you are going to place the abrasive charges abrasive charges are the steel balls 12 abrasive charges ka weight jo hai wo 5 kg hai wo place karne ke baad you have to give 500 revolutions ye counter laga hua hai yahan se on karke you may go for the revolutions lid band kar denge isi cylinder ke andar there is one steel shelf what happens ki uh, aggregates or the steel balls it climbs over the steel shelf and afterwards they fall on the aggregate the aggregate fall on aggregate the steel ball fall on the aggregate due to this some impact that is generated under the influence of the impact aggregates they are crushed to powder or they get disintegrated to isi humne disintegration ko measure karna hai ki ek aggregate kitna disintegrate karta hai ya kitni degradation hoti hai that is uh, indicator of the strength loss and the sabrian value very very important test normally jab aap aggregates ki characterization kar rahe hain to usme you would be requiring this test ke loss and the sabrian test carry out karke you are going to carry out or you can measure the properties now based on this the next experiment is measurement of frictional properties of road surface using british pendulum skid resistance tester and second part of the experiment is texture depth using sand patch method if you minutely observe the surface of the road it is not plain it is some sort of wavy or it has some undulations now purpose or benefit is it is going to offer some sort of the frictional properties so at times it happens frictional properties or the road that is not offering the required frictional properties and the result that is the accident normally at roundabouts where you are going to apply the brakes frequently what happens under the influence of the tires when you apply the brakes the tire it moves over the road surface and polishing of the stone it takes place ek test aur bhi hota hai polished stone value psv test wo hum perform nahi karte uski base pe bhi we can find out ke after how much time the surface of the aggregates it gets polished ye jo frictional properties of the road surface hai that is required कि अगर एक्सीडेंट्स वगैरह बहुत ज्यादा हो रहे हैं और आप उसको डिग आउट करना चाह रहे हैं कि व्हाट इज द कॉज तो अगर जो मेट्रिक डिजाइन ठीक है बाकी पैरामीटर्स ठीक हैं देन व्हाई एक्सीडेंट्स दे आर टेकिंग प्लेस तो यू मे मेयर द फ्रिक्शनल प्रॉपर्टीज इट्स अ नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्ट कैसे परफॉर्म करते हैं दिस ऑपरेटर्स दैट इज द ब्रिटिश पेंडुलम स्क्रिप्ट रेजिस्टेंस टेस्टेड ये जो पेंडुलम है या क्लैप हो जाता है इसके साथ देर इज वन बटन जब आप इसको प्रेस करेंगे द पेंडुलम इट मूव्स ओवर द रोड सरफेस जब इस रोड सरफेस में मूव करेगा तो ये स्केल है जीरो से वन फिफ्टीन तक द पॉइंटर इज मार्क ऑन द स्केल जीरो का मतलब है देर इज नो कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ दिस स्लाइडर विद द रोड सर्फेस अदरवाइज यू वोट बी हैविंग अ फ्रिक्शन लेस सर्फेस जीरो और 150 से ज्यादा आ रहा है तो दिस मींस कि आपने जो इसको फ्री फॉल हो ही नहीं सका ये उसके साथ ही स्ट्राइक कर गया है रोड के साथ ही स्ट्राइक करके जो है ना इट बिकम स्टेबल आजकल जो दिस टाइप ऑफ टेस्ट दैट इज बीइंग कैरीड आउट ऑन द टाइल्स आल्सो ये जो आपकी टाइल्स प्लेस हो रही है प्लाजाज वगैरह में शॉपिंग मॉल्स मॉल्स में ओवर देयर यू हैव टू कैरी आउट दिस टेस्ट सो दैट 
persons walking on foot they must not skid or they must not slip so based on this up is your per you are going to wet the surface uh, why because when you are going to design you are going to design for the worst conditions worst conditions can the surface that is wet ye jo yahan hai ye jab aap isko oh, physically dekh rahe honge to it is having a rubber slider rubber slider ke upar what uh, it is a plane so normally aap general experience yahi hai ki ji jo flat tires hain और ये स्मूथ सरफेस है वेन यू आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई द्रेक्स दे आर गोइंग टू ऑफर लीस्ट रेजिस्टेंस तो उस केस के लिए जो है यू आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ब्रिटिश पैंडलम स्केट रेजिस्टेंस टेस्ट प्रॉपर्टी से मेयर करेंगे सेकेंड थिंग इज टेक्सल डेप्थ अगर आप ये देखें इसकी सरफेस तो इट्स नॉट प्लेन इट्स वे इसके ऊपर सैंड of known volume aap ek regular shape mein spread karke so you know the volume of sand you know the area in which the sand is spread on the road surface dono ko divide kare to aapke paas ek value aa jayegi in centimeters or inches usko compare kar le ke normally roads they are classified as open texture medium texture and close texture to so usme se aap dekh lenge kis category mein aapka road fall kar raha hai agar wo uh, बहुत कम ऑप्शन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन प्रोवाइड कर रहा है तो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन इंक्रीज द प्रॉपर्टी यू कैन रिकमेंड के गो फॉर द रिनेवल ऑफ दिस वेरिंग सरफेस के वेरिंग सरफेस को रिमूव करें और नया सरफेस जो है यू आर गोइंग टू ले सो दिस इज दीज आर द वेरियस एक्सपेरिमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द एग्रीगेट्स जनरल कैक्टराइजेशन अगर आपने करनी हो तो दीज टेस्ट you are going to carry out on the aggregates or uski basis pe aapko ek idea ho jayega ki either they are the good quality aggregates or they are the poor quality aggregates one thing second thing is please remember not do not uh, reject any sample based on on the basis of one test ek test ki basis pe reject ya accept nahi kar sakte you have to carry out multiple tests like aap hali flakiness index or elongation index ki बेसिस पे नहीं कह सकते कि सैंपल इज नॉट फिट फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन साथ लॉस एंजलिस अब रही टेस्ट कर लें देन यू आर हैविंग के भी ये भी ठीक नहीं आ रही वैल्यू ये भी ठीक नहीं आ रही बॉटम्स ऑप्शन भी इसकी लिमिट से बाहर है सो इट दिस एग्रीगेट इट कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन सो एनी कंफ्यूजिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर एग्रीगेट सो दीज आर दिक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर द एग्रीगेट any confusion g please yes any confusion no sir so next comes regarding the experiments for the bitumen i told you yesterday also bitumen or is fault they are वन एंड सेम थिंग बिचमन नॉर्मली ब्रिटिश यूज करते हैं और अमेरिकन जो है वो इसफॉल्ट या इसफॉल्ट सीमेंट का वर्ड यूज करते हैं सो जो करेंटली यूज हो रहा है नेचुरली अवेलेबल बिचमन दैट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल बट करेंटली जो यूज हो रही है वो दैट इज द बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द पेट्रोलियम रिफाइनरी तो अटक रिफाइनरी से या कराची रिफाइनरी से वी आर हैविंग द बिचमन विच इज बींग यूज फॉर फॉर रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन so the pella test step determination of flash and fire point of bitumen sample by the cleveland open cup flash point tester jaise aapka freezing point hota hai freezing point what is freezing point ye kya hota hai freezing point sir yes anyone please uh, what the temperature just the liquid solid mein change ho raha hai that is a specific temperature at which water freezes the boiling point at which a temperature at which the water boils or water change into vapors so what is flash point a specific temperature or what is fire point a specific temperature now flash and fire point uh, at which uh, flash point is the tem uh, temperature at which vapors of the bitumen they just gives a flash जैसे ये प्रीवियसली कैमराज में फ्लैशलाइट होती थी कि इन नाइट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ पिक्चर तो आप फ्लैशलाइट जो है या फ्लैश 
So same is the case with this. Vapors of the bitumen, when you are going to heat the bitumen, the surface over the uh, bitumen, it becomes saturated with hydrocar uh, hydrocarbon. Some of the hydrocarbons, they are flammable. So when you bring a match stick near them, what happens? It gets fire. Ya aapne jaise dekha hoga ke petrol hai, ke agar uske kareeb agar baut zada petrol gira hoga ye like jaise piche Rehmer Khan ke kareeb baakya bhi hoga tha ke oil tanker se 200 plus persons they died because of burning. Ke what uh, was the cause? Ke anyone uh, he uh, switched on his lighter. To us lighter ki wajah se jo hai what happens? All the persons they caught fire. So flash point, fire point. That is, bitumen sustain fire for five seconds. Why this test is important? This test is important because when you have to transport bitumen from one point to another point, so or ya apne shipment karni hai, so you have to tell ki either it contains the flammable material or not. Ya agar apne insurance vara karwai hai and in and unfortunately if fires broke out, then to assess the fire hazards, so what would be the temperature or heating temperature? Practically, when you are working with the bitumen, the laborers, those who are, which are working with the bitumen, they have to take into consideration that okay, temperature should not rise or should not uh, reach up till the flash or the fire point. So normally, flash point is less than the fire point. Fire point is more. In some bitumens, we don't have the flash point. Your flash or fire point, they almost they are uh, what you can say. Are same. So, in case, me, you flash point ni mil raga, but what you are having, you are having the fire point. So that is uh, determination of the flash and fire point of bitumen using Cleveland Open Cup flash point tester. Either picture hogi. This one, that is the Cleveland Open Cup flash point tester. You are going to fill it with bitumen, <coughs> and afterwards you are going to heat it at a specific rate. Uske baad, uh, thermometer is installed in the bitumen sample or aap uska temperature measure karte ja rahe hain and you are going to apply the test flame test flame kya test flame is basically it is having a specific diameter aur usko bitumen surface pe move karenge so that when the surface over the bitumen it becomes saturated with hydrocarbons so they get fire and you get the flash point or the fire point so very important test regarding the properties of bitumen Then determination of specific gravity of the bituminous material. So specific gravity of bitumen material, bitumen ki find out karne ke liye ye hai. Like uh, you are going to carry out the specific gravity of the soils. Ki pycnometer mein uh, char weights determine karne hai, same pycnometer mein. And what you are getting, you are getting the specific gravity of the bituminous material. Why is specific gravity is important? Specific gravity is important because it is, uh, it tells us about the quality of the bitumen. Remember, the bitumen ki specific gravity hai, it varies from 0.97 to 1.02 ya 1.03 kuch books mein 1.05 bhi hai to 0.97 to 1.02 agar aapke bitumen ki specific gravity isse zyada aa rahi hai to you may declare it contains some sort of impurities isko check kare pani ki specific gravity kitni hoti hai what is the specific gravity of water ye kitni hoti hai so पानी की स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी भी 1 होती है और जो बिचुमन है इसकी भी स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी जो है दैट इज इक्वल टू 1 अगर इससे ज्यादा है तो यू में से दैट स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी और द बिचुमन इज नॉट फिट फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन देन परफॉर्म पेनिट्रेशन टेस्ट ऑन बिचुमन पेनिट्रेशन टेस्ट you can grade the bitumen. Just as soil can classify it, that it is sand, hai, silt, hai, clay. If you have UCS classification, then to SM, SPSM, or SP, or polygraded sand, polygraded sand with silt or uh, silty sand, then you are having the clay, CL, lean clay, or CL, ML, silty, uh, uh, silty clay, or clay silt. So based on that, to find out or to grade the bitumen, you are having the penetration grades. Ke bitumen ko normally penetration grades, viscosity grades, ya ductility grades ke basis pe you can divide. So if you check that 800 ka bitumen hai, ya 60, 70. Ka. So these are the grades 60, 70, 800. 
सिक्सटी सेवेंटी क्या है कि ये पेनिट्रेशन ऑफ नीडल है इन द बिचमन सैंपल अबाउट सिक्स टू सेवन मिलीमीटर सिक्स से सेवन मिलीमीटर तक अगर पेनिट्रेशन हो रही है तो द ग्रेड इज सिक्सटी सेवेंटी ये टेस्ट परफॉर्म करेंगे अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट कि आपने ग्रेड डिसाइड करना है नॉर्मली दिस टेस्ट that is being carried out to find out the grade of the bitumen if the grade is not proper so you cannot use that bitumen for your project penetration test perform karne ke liye is apparatus so ye jo scale hai it tells us in one tenth of the millimeter ya isko magnify karke 6 millimeter hai usko 60 show kar raha hoga one tenth of the millimeter mein jo hai na it is going to express ke aap bitumen sample place karenge uske baad needle bitumen ke surface pe rakh ke you are going to push the button for 5 seconds uh, the uh, penetration of the needle in the bitumen bitumen sample so uh, अलाउ करेंगे जो जितनी पेनिट्रेशन हो जाएगी उसको इस स्केल से मेयर कर लेंगे अंडर द वेट ऑफ 100 ग्राम्स एट अ स्पेसिफाइड टेम्परेचर नॉर्मली 25 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट इज द स्पेसिफिक टेम्परेचर तो उसकी बेसिस के ऊपर आपके पास ये पेनिट्रेशन टेस्ट आ जाएगा वैल्यू आ जाएगी उससे आप बिचुमन को ग्रेड कर लेंगे नॉर्मली सॉफ्टर ग्रेड बिचुमन दैट इज यूज इन कोल्डर क्लाइमेट जो हार्डर ग्रेड बिचुमन है दैट इज यूज इन हॉटर क्लाइमेट लाइक अगर लाहौर में यूज करना है तो फोर्टी फिफ्टी का या फिफ्टी सिक्सटी का बिचुमन यू कैन यूज और अगर ये हिली एरिया में यूज करना है तो यू में यूज एटी हंड्रेड एटी हंड्रेड इससे भी ज्यादा यूज कर सकते हैं पेनिटेशन टेस्ट ऑन बिचुमन देन डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द विस्कॉस्टी ऑफ लिक्विड इज फॉल्ट यूजिंग एंजुलर फिस्कोमीटर सो वॉट इज विस्कॉस्टी Viscosity is resistance to flow. So, solid is fault. Yes, fault cement के लिए kinematic viscosity determine करते हैं और इसके लिए जो है ना what your liquid is fault के लिए आप viscosity at room temperature you can find out. तो क्या है कि time for flow जो इसका है bitumen का as liquid is fault का and time for the flow of waters. कोई भी यूनिट आप फिक्स कर लें 100 एम या 50 एम ऑफ वाटर टाइम फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ 50 एम ऑफ बिचुमन और टाइम फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ 50 एम ऑफ वाटर दोनों की रेशियो ले लें तो यू गेट द एंजिलर विस्कॉस्टी एंजिलर एंजिलर इज द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन हु आर हु प्रपोज दिस मेथड तो एंजिलर विस्कॉस्टी इस तरह ही देर देर इज वन मोर साइंटिस्ट हिज नेम वॉज से बोल्ड तो से बोल्ड विस्कॉस्टी या एंजिलर विस्कॉस्टी these are the viscosity values then ductility test another important test normally bitumen ko hum teen grades mein divide kar sakte hain penetration grades viscosity grades and other one third one is the ductility grade ductility uh, because bitumen is used in the road construction and they are exposed to the atmosphere so during day times road expand during night it contracts similarly day and night similarly uh, in uh, winter and summer expansion and contraction of the bitumen that is going to take place so for this We are going to carry out the ductility test on the fault. Ductility के लिए आप bitumen का पहले sample pass करेंगे. Like this. This is uh, called the bracket. ये एक bracket है. इसके ये जो दोनों parts हैं, ये detach हो जाएंगे. Afterwards, these are the two hooks. आप इसको ductilometer में place करेंगे. यहाँ एक hook यहाँ. और दूसरे से ना you are going to pull it at the rate of five centimeter per minute. If this thread Before break the distance travelled by this thread of bitumen, uh, जो भी आएगा वो आप कह लेंगे कि that is the ductility of bitumen. Normally 100 centimeter that is the requirement. के bitumen की जो ductility है, it should be more than 100 centimeters. So what is that is ductility? Ductility test for bitumen. उसके बाद जो test है आपका डिटर्मिनेशन सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ बिचमन यूजिंग रिंग एंड बॉल ऑपरेटर्स सो सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट जैसे आपका फ्लैश पॉइंट है एक स्पेसिफिक टेम्परेचर है सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट है ये भी एक स्पेसिफिक टेम्परेचर है तो 
at which bitumen bitu disc softens and moves a distance of 25 uh, mm ya 1 inch under the weight of the steel ball a specific temperature at which bitumen disc softens ye jo main disc ki baat kar raha hu yahan jo hai na aap ek uh, this one is the disc of bitumen ke yahan aap bitumen ka sample place karenge uske upar ek बॉल प्लेस कर देंगे नॉर्मली 3.5 ग्राम उसका वेट है सो इसको पानी में प्लेस करके यू आर गोइंग टू रेज द टेंपरेचर ऑफ वाटर जिस बॉल में बिचुमन कवर्स द डिस्टेंस ऑफ 25 मिलीमीटर या 1 इंच यू से इट्स द सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट सो सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट इज वेरी आपके पास एक बिचुमन है जिसका सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट है 50 और एक बिचुमन है जिसका सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट है 80 तो अगर आपने लाहौर में यूज करना है तो आप 80 सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट वाला बिचुमन यू आर गोइंग टू यूज इट और अगर आपने उधर यूज करना है मरी एरिया में या कोल्डर क्लाइमेट्स में यूज करना है तो यू मे गो फॉर द 50 बिचुमन हैविंग सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ 50 के वहां हॉटेस्ट डे टेंपरेचर जो सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट है इट शुड बी मोर देन द हॉटेस्ट डे टेंपरेचर ऑफ द ईयर ए मी हॉटेस्ट डे टेंपरेचर से ज्यादा उसको होना चाहिए तो दैट इज बेसिकली द सॉफ्टिंग पॉइंट टेस्ट सो दीस आर द टेस्ट रिगार्डिंग द बिचुमन based on that you can go for the general characterization of the bitumen now next comes there is one mix design marshall method of mix design one mix design we are going to perform like aap concrete mein mix design karte hain to usme kal ye mix design concrete ka ya nahi kiya abhi ji sir abhi nahi kiya is semester ka pehle is semester mein karenge to usme yahi hai ki concrete 1 to 4 hai उसमें कि ये रेशियो कैसे डिसाइड करनी है या आप कितनी स्ट्रेंथ एंटिसिपेट कर रहे हैं सेम इज द केस मार्शल मेथड ऑफ मिक्स डिजाइन में आपने फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक ग्रेडिंग के या आपने कंपेक्शन टेस्ट किया होगा कंपेक्शन टेस्ट का आउटपुट क्या है व्हाट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द कंपेक्शन टेस्ट जी ये उसकी आउटपुट क्या कंपेक्शन टेस्ट की जो कंपेक्शन टेस्ट आप करते हैं लैब में आपने मॉडिफाइड प्रॉक्टर किया होगा या स्टैंडर्ड प्रॉक्टर किया होगा उसकी आउटपुट क्या है जी एनी वन डेंसिटी फाइंड करते हैं उसके एनी वन एल्स सर रिलेटिव डेंसिटी नहीं रिलेटिव डेंसिटी तो प्रॉक्टर टेस्ट से नहीं आ रही सर कंपैक्टिंग एफर्ट फाइंड वो तो फिक्स है कंपैक्टिंग एफर्ट तो फिक्स है बेटे एनीवन एल्स देखें कंपैक्शन टेस्ट परफॉर्म करने से फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक मटेरियल आपके पास एक ऑप्टिमम मॉइस्चर कंटेंट आ जाता है उसको अप्लाई कैसे कर रहे हैं फील्ड में व्हाट यू डू यू से के अगर इस तरह की सोइल है उसमें इतना आप मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ऐड करें और उसके ऊपर जब आप इतनी कंपेक्टिव एफर्ट लगा रहे होंगे तो उसकी डेंसिटी जो है अप्रोक्सीमेटली इतनी आ रही होगी ठीक है तो आउटपुट आपके पास दो चीजें आ रही होती हैं ऑप्टिमम मॉइस्चर कंटेंट एंड मैक्सिमम ड्राई डेंसिटी फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक मटेरियल जिस मटेरियल के अपने ऊपर आपने टेस्ट परफॉर्म किया है सो so, इसको अप्लाई करने का तरीका यही है कि जब आपने रोड के ऊपर या सरफेस को कंपैक्ट करना है तो स्प्रिंकल द वाटर अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू द ऑप्टिम मॉइस्चर कंटेंट और उसके बाद उसके ऊपर रोलर मूव करें सो दैट यू आर गेटिंग द मैक्सिमम डेंसिटी जो आपने बात की थी रिलेटिव डेंसिटी की रिलेटिव डेंसिटी नहीं यू गो फॉर रिलेटिव कंपेक्शन कि आप उसके जब आपने एक दफा कंपैक्ट कर लिया है तो आफ्टरवर्ड्स यू आर गोइंग टू चेक either the desired degree of compaction has been attained or uh, or still you require more compactive effort to usko karne ke liye uh, us soil ke upar you are going to carry out the field density test field density test se aapke paas field density aa jayegi ya gamma d field aa jayega divided by maximum dry density wo kahan se aa rahi hogi that is from the compaction curve jo aapne lab mein compaction test perform kiya usse aapke paas मैक्सिमम ड्राई डेंसिटी आ रही होगी कि इस मटेरियल की फील्ड में जब कंपैक्ट किया है तो इतनी डेंसिटी है और डिनोमिनेटर में मैक्सिमम ड्राई डेंसिटी लैब में जब किया कंट्रोल कंडीशंस में जब टेस्ट परफॉर्म किया है तो इसकी डेंसिटी है दोनों को डिवाइड करें तो व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग यू आर गेटिंग द रिलेटिव कंपैक्शन तो रिलेटिव कंपैक्शन यू आर गेटिंग दैट इज 
बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू से इट इज द ऑप्टिम मॉस्टर गोडेंट अब मार्शल मेथड ऑफ मिक्स डिजाइन में हम क्या करेंगे कि हम एक ग्रेडिंग सेलेक्ट कर लेंगे एग्रीगेट्स की रिमेंबर जो एग्रीगेट्स हैं इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री सेगमेंट्स वन इज द कोर्स एग्रीगेट वन इज द फाइन एग्रीगेट वन इज द मिनरल फिलर कोर्स एग्रीगेट एग्रीगेट्स विच आर रिटेन ऑन सीव नंबर फोर या मार्शल मेथड ऑफ मिक्स डिजाइन में सीव नंबर टेन के ऊपर जो रिटेन कर रहे हैं वी रिट्रीट दैम एज कोर्स एग्रीगेट फाइन एग्रीगेट पासिंग सीव नंबर टेन एंड रिटेन ऑन सीव नंबर टू हंड्रेड दे आर द फाइन एग्रीगेट मिनरल फिलर विच इज पासिंग सीव नंबर टू हंड्रेड तो वॉट दे आर दे आर बेसिकली वॉट यू कैन से दीज आर द these are the uh, coarse aggregate fine aggregate and mineral filler ab iske andar humne wo add karna hai bitumen content kitna bitumen 1% 2% 3% so what we do we are going to carry out the test hum usko but test perform karenge aur uski basis ke upar what we say we are going to carry out the test trial mixes se hum ek sample cast karenge jiska size ये हो रहा होगा जिसका साइज होगा 102 मिलीमीटर इन डायमीटर एंड 2.64 मिलीमीटर इन हाइट उसके ऊपर हम उसको ब्रेक करेंगे अंडर एट 60 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड बाय अप्लाइंग द लोड तो हमारे पास जो चीज आ रही होगी व्हाट वी से वी से स्टेबिलिटी वैल्यू एक फ्लो वैल्यू डिटरमिन करेंगे और उसकी बेसिस में हम ऑप्टिम बिचमन कॉन्टेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड तो जब हम uh, ऑप्टिमम बिचुमन कंटेंट पे हम ये क्लेम कर रहे होंगे या हम ये कह रहे होंगे कि अगर इतना बिचुमन कंटेंट यूज करेंगे तो यू आर गेटिंग द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेंथ तो दैट इज मार्शल मेथड ऑफ मिक्स डिजाइन के कोर्स एग्रीगेट कितना यूज करना है फाइन एग्रीगेट कितना यूज करना है मिनरल फिलर कितना यूज करना है और उसके बाद बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू आर गोइंग टू कैरी आउट दिस टेस्ट मतलब मिक्स डिजाइन की वैल्यू ऑफ प्रपोज कर देंगे व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू प्रपोज द मिक्स डिजाइन तो उसकी बेसिस पे What you say, you should say that is the optimum bitumen content for this grading. A grading के लिए ये bitumen content है. उसके बाद next के लिए जो है, you may decide कि जो है अगर अगली grading आ गई है तो दोबारा वो series पे form करके you are going to propose one bitumen content. <coughs> so The, this one that is basically a brief overview. Uh, this one is a brief overview regarding the various experiments which are you are going to perform in this transportation engineering lab. Any questions regarding ex these experiments? Yes, yeah, please. the any questions regarding these experiments gcr yes sir any question regarding these uh, these uh, experiment ya koi agar aapke din mein aa raha ho it yeah. just general question स्टूडेंट को ऐड कर दें काइंडली किस स्टूडेंट आपको आपके ईमेल फॉरवर्ड कीजिए सुबह व्हाट्सएप ये मैं क्लास के बाद ऐड कर देता हूं ओके एनी क्वेश्चंस आज सर इफ देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन तो इट्स ऑल फ्रॉम माय साइड वन वन मोर थिंग इज आई फॉर